Hey guys, welcome back to some more Ocarina of Time. We're at endgame now, because we're in Ganon's house. You didn't even knock! How rude of you! He doesn't have a front door. How do you knock on nothing? I doesn't have a doorbell. Hey, come on. I mean, not only that, he, he obviously wanted to be left alone. He built a freaking bridge in front of his house. I mean, <laughs> might as well. How else do I get over here? Fly? Yes, that does work. Just fly over here. Okay, that chest, I should just say that's from the Wolfles, that's not from the Flames. But, man, good timing. Now, you need fire arrows for that. Or you can just use normal arrows and shoot it through one of the lit torches, but obviously fire arrows are just easier. Yeah. But you do need some fire source for that room. Now, for the interesting part, this is the forest trial. In Ganon's Tower, we have trials for every major dungeon we went through. And then Light Temple's trial. Because that was supposed to be a dungeon originally. But this one is based off of what Forest Temple was originally supposed to be as well. Like a wind dungeon. So that's why there's wind turbines in the forest trial. It doesn't really make much sense if you don't know that little trivia fact. Yeah. Ocarina obviously had a lot of ambition to it. To the point where like there's a lot of cut, cut ideas from it. And I really wish that the Nintendo... And my, my friend and my co-worker were said the same thing. He said he really wishes that Ocarina of Time gets remade. Not like not like 3DS remake, but like actual remade to the point where they add in all the stuff that they tried to cut out. Yeah, cuz they could do that easily now. I know that they put Temple of Time, the the cut one from Ocarina of Time, they put it in in Twilight Princess essentially. Mm -hmm. But like the light temple. They could add that back into the game. They could add all the stuff to the forest temple they were wanting to do. And be, make it kind of a quote unquote complete game again. Because my co worker really says that he feels like he loves Ocarina of Time to death. He plays it all the time. But he says he does feel like it's an incomplete game still. Yeah, in a way, I think a lot of it just had to do with just different ideas in development too. Because you can tell some things were thought of at one point and then thought of at a different point. So there was just a lot of ambition for the game. Another thing, too, with the ice trap. Oh, no! Um, another thing with uh, this game in particular is they tried to have a lot of ideas for, like, the 64DD, which was a failure in, in, like, everywhere in the world. Yeah. I mean, that was a whole big thing for... Master Quest. Originally, that was supposed to be more of a thing built into the main game. Once you beat it, you were supposed to unlock it, because it would have been on the 64 DD. But due to the fact that they couldn't really do that because of the thing selling, like, garbage, and not releasing outside of Japan, they had to rework this game to a cartridge, and then years later, release Master Quest on a GameCube disc. Okay, now what were you gonna say, Amber? Him getting the double blue fire like that reminds me where you watch a TV commercial or like a radio announcement or something, and then it immediately plays the same one again after. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've had those happen. Though. Yeah. Well, my favorite is when you do an ad on Twitch, you watch an ad, and then the same ad plays again, and then the same ad plays again. Like keeps on looping the ad like three times. Like you guys have nothing else. It's like, like didn't we just see this? <laughs> it's like you can tell this company's desperate for money. They put the ad there twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's sometimes whenever that thing just happens, like right after the after the ad just played, I'm like, it just plays it again. It's like, like, didn't we just see this? Yeah, I, I'm running out of ads. Just watch this again, please. I hate that you have to empty out your fairy bottles in this dungeon like that. Yeah, well, the weird thing is that this is the water trial, and it's all based around ice cavern. So this is another one that's a little bit weird. But at the same time, that's our last use, really, of the blue fire. So now we can just fill these bottles up with whatever. Technically, I still count the ice cavern as part of the water temple. Because you're getting an item that you need to even access the water temple. So it's like, okay. Yeah. Hi, Rito. Hi, Megaton Hammer, right in my face. You call me your husbando again, and I'm going to beat you with this hammer. With us being engaged, can we call that off? Cause then you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Well, not only that. Uh, if you come, you come. I have uh, signed a divorce papers already. And you know, if you come near me, anywhere near me, you're getting this hammer to the face. <laughs> the extreme restraining order. Yeah. 
I call it the Megaton Hammer Banner. <laughs> Alright, Shadow Trial. Okay, so this is the part where you need fire. Yeah, you need fire arrows for in here, but if you have the long shot, you can just use that to hook your way over to the torch, and then use Din's fire on the torch. This is the weird thing. Like, fire arrows are required to beat the game, but if you know how to get around the game, they're not required. It's weird. Like, they're semi-required, I would honestly say. At least, you know, fire arrows have some use, unlike, you know... The ice arrows. Yeah, they're way better in Majora's Mask. Ice arrows in this game barely do anything. Ice arrows are a lot of useless in this game. I mean, they do help. They do stun certain enemies, but they're just pretty useless otherwise. You got the golden gauntlets. Now we gotta go back and back outside get yeah, sour again. Yeah, well, so much for those silvers that we just got like three parts ago. Yeah, yeah. seriously. They're already throwing them away. It's like, oh, okay. We got these nice gold gauntlets. Like, well, I don't need these anymore. I can't just put these in my magic satchel and just store them away forever. No, I gotta toss them out. Well, you know, pour them on top of the other gloves. I think the biggest problem with the gold gauntlets in particular is they feel completely worthless. The gold gauntlets are used for exactly three things, and that is it. Also, hitboxes are fantastic in this game, if you can't tell. My torch here <laughs> just flat out refused to be a hookshotable target. The hookshot went through it twice. Like, straight through. I mean, you could say the same thing for, like, light arrows in Wind Waker. Wind Waker is used light arrows for exactly three hey, things. Hey, Empa, did you know Sheik was... Oh, you already knew? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, a little lay on that punch. But, you know, I think the biggest thing with the light arrows for Wind Waker compared to Gold Gauntlets in this game Go Gauntlets are used on exactly three things. Once you use them on those three things, they're done. You're never using them again. Light arrows are one-shot KO to every enemy, so they're just good for combat. Okay, that's true. Yeah, you're right. So it's like, yeah, you're mainly using it to fight the final bosses of the game, but at the same time, you can just go around and fight everyone and just kill them immediately. But I do have a secondary use. And I'm seeing Glester's just completely ignoring the fact that he's got a timer. I mean, I have two minutes and 40 seconds, so I could live. Okay, never mind. I'm putting on the shirt just because I don't want to deal with the timer. Like, I don't want to hear the beep and... And then that will happen, so the that <laughs> That's what you get! That's what you get for having butt but sh slippery shoes. But hey, at least the platform doesn't sink. I didn't know when you find it was a Ouija. Oh yeah, I, I didn't tell you, but uh, I hit the, the Ouija block that they put in the game, so now I have ice physics. <laughs> but I do have a higher jump. <laughs> I love that, that's funny. Yeah, every time he gets hit like that, it's, it's just comical. I'm excited for Luigi's Mansion 3 too. I need to go play the first two, though. I need to beat the second game. I've only gotten through like a quarter of the first mansion and then just put it down. Oh, here's the first one. Here's the first Let one. Let me just toss that over here. It's no big deal. You just crushed an entire colony of of endangered species of bubbles. This is a Ganon's tower. They deserve to die. They're all evil. They're all evil. They deserve to die. Alright. Got all the jewels. Now, let's try not to die. Very easy to after you get the final one. And then if you die, you have to do this all over again. Well, just this round. Well, luckily, if you die once you collect all the silver rupees, the door will stay unlocked. But if you die collecting all but one, then yeah, you have to redo everything, which sucks. Ugh. Hey, look, it's my brother. Hi, Darunia. I see you're not in the dancey mood this morning. <laughs> oh, he has no music. It's boring in here without music. Also, what happens to his kid? I always kind of wonder about that. I think he just basically takes the role, Daruni, at that point, so he just becomes Chief of the Gorons. They never really say what happens to him at this point, but it, it more or less, I guess, assume they just takes on a bigger role. What was the Goron in Majora's Mask name again? He was named after the, the same name you have, yeah. Or, oh, no, you're talking about the, the one with the mask. Yeah. 
couldn't remember his name. Right here, or Damar. Yeah. Yeah, Darmani. Who sadly had a very sad ending as well. Everyone in that game has a sad ending. That's that's the thing. Don't play in the game if you don't want to be depressed. Yeah. Very dark story. But if you're already depressed, it's fine. <laughs> that's your favorite video game. Now this room is interesting. I'm gonna just say flat out. Only open the treasure chests here that have enemies on top of them. That's your hint, because the other three treasure chests in this room are all traps. That one's real, though. So you already used, did those two other columns. You threw that other one. So that's number two. Golden gauntlets are useless. And it's Not even the castle. Yep. Out of a random thing at that point, but... Sure, let's just extend the gameplay by another 10 minutes. Like the whole reason why it exists. Hey, I'm missing a key. What am I gonna do here? I can't go on. I get the it. The key's gone. You play Zelda's lullaby, and then the key nukes itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the key. I knew I left him somewhere. Oh man, padding. My favorite. Oh god. Okay, fine. It wasn't padding. What you get for making fun of the game. Although in this room it's really awkward once you hit a boulder because then they go out of sync a bit and then just roll into each other like that. The room slightly becomes harder. But I have 20 hearts so it doesn't matter. Just keep on taking the hits. And you got plenty of time to do this too. Yeah, they, they give you a time limit in this room for some reason but it's such a small room a minute timer isn't really that big of a deal. Yeah. That was a puzzle. Oh, that was a, that was just a. <laughs> it's like, oh, you 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 you're very tricky, Nintendo. They do actually screw you over with that puzzle a bit in Master Quest because they put a hidden crystal switch inside of the torch on the outside. So you have to hit the switch to unlock the room. Otherwise, it's filled up with a solid wall. But the it, the crystal switch is so hard to see. It is so easy to miss. I don't like that room in Master Quest. It sucks. I don't think you like Master Quest that much in general. It's an official ROM hack. It's not great. They changed so much about the game that just makes it a little weirder. Hidden room. Look at all those Deku scrubs. I feel like someone wants to sell me something. And shoot nuts at me too. I feel like someone wants to sell me something. I'm going home then. Yeah, so these guys just sell you an assortment of different things. Potions, bombs, arrows. So it's pretty much just getting you prepared for the final fight. Also, I don't think you really need to worry about buying a red potion when they give you like eight plus fairies in this room. So, the red potion is completely useless in my opinion. Just because of that. Yeah. Fairies, fairies give you full heal in this game, unlike yeah. the others only. Although, well, it's kind of weird. Fairies heal you for exactly 20 hearts, and it just so happens that the max heart count in the game is 20. So, for some reason, you have over 20 hearts, and they won't fully heal you. I don't know what you're doing as if you're duping hearts. Yeah, I was going to say, like, when's it, when are you duping? <laughs> yeah. It's just more or less one of those weird technical quirks, because I guess they have to have a set number for what the fairies healed you with. Yeah. Oh, come on, game. Ah, I keep stubbing my toe. Yeah, I don't want to push those guys. I'm just going to walk in front of them. It's fine. We've got 20 hearts. That's my excuse for By everything. the way, when Link does that, that animation where he stubs his toe, that's the same, like, damage animation from Zelda 2. Yeah. So, I didn't even know that until the other day. I was like, oh, that is the same one. Yeah, it's the exact same, which is really weird. Also, yeah, this is, like, the only real required time to use the bomb choose. This one particular puzzle. Because it's the only way you can reach the crystal switch to open the door. But I knew that, and this crystal switch on the other side, a bomb to drop. Although it kind of sucks, because they only give you ten. Though for some reason you blow those ten and you don't hit the crystal switch while well, you're screwed. Leave and buy bomb shoes. How much are bomb shoes? A lot of money. Too much. Go get a wallet.
Also, I just wanted to demonstrate there, this is a Majora's Mask. Light arrows don't work on these sundials. It's only a Majora's Mask thing. Which is kind of weird how they changed that for that game. Yeah, if you, especially people who played this game like bajillions of times and they play Majora's Mask and like, they're like, well, okay, well, I gotta give them your share for that and then don't realize, oh, I need to have light arrows for that. Yeah, because that that was a weird thing they did change. It's like, oh yeah, light arrows also work for anything that the mirror shield works with. So light arrows had even more of a use in Majora's Mask. In this game, honestly, they're more or less just used for Ganon. And that was the final spirit. All the spirits are now free. The trials are done. Now we can actually get into Ganon's real front door. The other front door was just to his living room, but now we have to get into his office. <laughs> <laughs> the barrier is dispelled. Yay! But first, we gotta go get something first. I'm guessing that's when you're gonna go get it. Oh, his door's open, but uh, it's too scary. I'm gonna go leave. Too yeah. scary. I'm too scared right now. I'm, you know, I'm supposed to be the hero. Too spoopy. All. It's too spoopy for me. Can't handle all the spoop. So I'm gonna go outside where the bones are. That's less spoopy. I'm like, I was seriously thinking, I was like, they really have all this one all the way out here. Yeah, it's like so far away, but this is in the same location as the Din's Fire Fairy. That's located in the castle courtyard as well. It's just that, yeah. you know, they put this giant block here you need gold gauntlets for, so it's kind of a pace breaker. Although, what's funny is if you could get in here without gold gauntlets, you can, you can get double defense whenever, because that's our final upgrade, double defense. So, as you can imagine, there are other ways in this room. Yeah. You can bomb clip in this room. Just literally stand in a corner, pull on a bomb at a specific angle, and then the bomb just pushes you through the wall and boom, fairy. Speed runs do that, because what's a gold gauntlet? Yeah. Just a 100% requirement? Alright. That's all. I'll get him just to fill up my menu. Last time we see this lady. Until Majora's Mask. Until Majora's Mask. And then she gives you her face. Yeah, I think that's more horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> so now we get double defense. Yeah, this is our final fairy upgrade, and out of all of them... This one feels like the worst placement one in the whole game, because by the time you get it, this is real useful just for the final boss and dungeon. While it's cool, it's very underutilized. Yeah, so now you have 40 hearts instead of 20. Yeah, technically. So now we never have to worry about dying. No, thanks. I won't be coming back at all. Bye. There's really no reason at this point. Thanks. I'm just gonna walk away slowly. Don't even wanna just bother. Just get me out of here as fast as you can. 